It's feast or fire tonight. Three of our four briefcase recipients. Jeremy Borash. EC3. You still owe me a match. Just not tonight. Yeah, not tonight. Tonight we're going to learn your fate. Either it's going to be a championship title match or a pink slip. <laughs> a pink slip. I'm a carter. The only pink slips we have are to our fleet of cars. And my fate? My fate as a winner has been determined. And if all else fails, I just happen to know the people in charge. People in charge. Is that your ringtone? Speak of the Dixie. All right. Hey, Andy. Four men will They're waiting for you to call me Sunday back. We'll be fired Please tell me you got the messages about this case. I did, E, but there isn't anything I can do. I mean, we used the law firm of Smith & Stone on this. They sealed all the briefcases. I mean, even I don't know what's in yours. But what if my case says I'm fired? Darling, there isn't anything I can do on this one. I'm sorry. Is that on? You got me? Is, is that real? Does it even work? Here. You got Okay, look it. Last week, I dropped a real mind grenade on my buddy, my tag partner. But the experiment, it continues tonight. I got some gifts. Some real gifts to bring him back to the old times. No way you know what this is. <laughs> Wrapping myself. As we welcome you back to Impact Wrestling tonight at Final Resolution. First ever Dixieland match will crown a new world heavyweight champion, Jeff Hardy versus Magnus. I gotta tell you, Mike, I'm still stuck on what EC3 and that conversation we eavesdropped on with teammate President Dixie Carter. She can't help it. He might get fired from that EC3. That's an outrage. You know, Taz, I wish you were more like Eric Young. It's in the Christmas spirit. Remember what happened last week? You guys have won. Leave me alone. Please. Leave me alone. Week after week, you keep knocking on the devil's door. Eventually, the devil's gonna answer. Bad influence versus Joseph Park and Eric Young. This is your chance. Tonight, you've got to show me. Everyone here, including me, knows what's inside it. Joseph Park is in way over his head with two tacticians like bad influence. Come on! What the, what, what the hell's what's going on here? Eric Young shots to the head of his own tag team partner. <laughs> Disgusting, and it's going to be an enraged psychopath on the loose. Black hole slam, cover, pin. You are the best. <laughs> Last week. I dropped a bit of a mind grenade on my buddy. So with everyone's help, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Joseph, come on out of here, buddy. Oh, isn't this going to be great? Oh, my God. It's an, it's an experiment that continues. Two guys I hate. Well, you're the third. This goof and a touch uh, You're in the holiday spirit, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. Eric Young's another one of the guys that shouted him once. This guy here is a fake attorney. Yeah, but Joseph Park, remember when Eric Young said you are abyss last week? Joseph Park was in denial. I have to admit, signs are kind of pointing in that direction. I mean, it is possible, right? Joseph Park, abyss? Well, anything's possible. But, you know, I, I, I mean, look at him. It's Joseph Park. He can't be abyss. Okay, I, I don't know how else to say this. Everyone, one time with me, you... Are abyss. Eric, you know, you've always been a great friend and you've led me in the right direction. And this past week's been a blur. I mean, I got people telling me stuff from all sides. My, my head is full of so much stuff. I don't know what to believe. But I will tell you this. My name is Joseph Park. Let's, let's follow the science. Let's follow the science. I'm a scientist. I took this fist, put it against that head, you bled, and guess who showed up? The Monster Abyss. I know. I, I, I looked at the footage, but let me just say this. It's all a blur. It's a fuzz. I, I black out when that stuff happens. 
I am Joseph Park. Look at, look at. We're, tonight we're gonna start a new science experiment. This is a two-parter. This is a two-parter. Follow along. First part. Next week, I got you a match. A it's match? gonna be Joseph Park versus Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. Wait, 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 what? What are you doing? Look at, you're supposed to be my friend here. Are you trying to get me killed? Hold on, hold on. You didn't let me get to the best part. I made it special. It's your match. My match? It's your match. It's going to be a monster's ball. <laughs> EY, EY, I think you've lost it. That's my brother's match. That's not my match. I have listened to everything you've taught me over the last few months. But on this one, I'm going to have to put my foot down, my friend. No, I cannot do it. I will not do it. I knew you were going to say that. So look, two-part science experiment. The second part is this. We got some visual aids. I know you love Christmas. Everyone loves Christmas. Yeah. I'm, I wrap these myself. I want you to open them up. Visual aids. Get the juices flowing. Really feeling it. Look at. You're never going to guess what this is. I wrap that myself. You're never going to believe what that is. Go ahead and guess. Hawk might be hoping it's a loaf of bread. Open it up. That's it. Tear at it. Yeah. I use these in the courtroom all the yep. time. You know? Okay, look, look, that's a, that's a great one, but whew, this one's got a little bit of weight to it. Now, go ahead, number two, open that up. That's a beauty. Be careful now, tear at it, yeah. That's probably a bunt cake. You got it. Yep, yep, just, just rip at it there, yep. I, I put some tape on it, I didn't want you to, yep. Maybe he could hit himself in the head with it. What is it? Oh, oh, oh. There's, there's not a snake in there. Go ahead. Yeah. There you go. Take a look inside. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, those are sharp. Don't grab them with your bare hands. He is a scientist. All right. You know. Yep. Oh, there you man. go. I don't want you to go falling in these, okay? Just remember you put them on the table. Last but not least, this one's a real beauty. It's not as heavy as the other one, but you're never going to guess what that is. Yep. Yeah, give it a good shake. So I could see what Eric Young's trying to do, Mike. You probably don't understand. He's trying to get... Yeah, yeah, visual yeah. aids. I That's got it. Exactly. Ground. What is this now? Oh. There you go. Oh, they like that. Eric, listen, I really appreciate all of this, but it doesn't do anything for me. And I'm going to stick to my original answer. The answer is no. I will not do it. I will not be a part of this. You know me. I'm a showman. I, I'm one of the most entertaining guys in professional wrestling. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I save the best for last. The coup de gras. There's one more gift, and I slid it just under the ring over on this side. Come on. Let's go. Come on, big guy. Get over there. Come on. Is this almost over? Get up there. Yep. What else could this be? It's, it's not I mean, working. I want you to have this. Steel chair, thumbtacks, no barbed idea. wire. I want you to have this. Be careful. There you go. Old devices from monsters ball. But I want you to right. have this what moment to yourself. It's right here in the middle. What is? What is it? <laughs> you know who that is? I know what that is. It's Janice. That's a business main toy. All right, EY. I'll do it. As do you think that the light bulb is finally going on for Joseph Park? Well, I don't know if the light bulb went on, but it definitely looks like it's flickering. Think of the danger involved one week from tonight. The return of Monsters Ball. Bad influence for Joseph Park in a Monsters Ball match, really? These four gentlemen are about to learn their fate. When we come back on Impact, we will reveal the contents of the briefcases. This is Feast or Fire. There are kids all over this world who dress up like you, paint their faces like you. What are they going to think when you sold out? What are your creatures going to think if you sold out? Hey, worry about your life. Do not worry about mine. Huh. You know.
know, there's really no reason for a man to look like this unless what Magnus said out there was true and you're feeling a little bit guilty. Come on, Joe, are you just like everybody else? You think I'm still hey, guilty? Whoa, 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 relax, 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 relax. Don't worry about it. All I'm saying is I understand. We work in the professional wrestling business, the most hostile work environment in the world. And with everybody bleeding and giving of themselves and doing whatever they can to get ahead, I can understand the attraction of a shortcut, an easy go-ahead. I just never thought you were the type of person who would take that kind of bait. Look, if you're looking for an explanation, you're not getting one. Nobody is. Yeah. These accusations. Well, you even said he was defensive. Still to come, Jeff Hardy versus Magnus. The debut of Dixieland for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. But well, Mike, the time has come. It's time for Feast or Fire. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the four individuals who last week here on Impact retrieved the briefcases. And each briefcase contains something different. In one, an X Division title shot. In another, a World Tag Team title shot. In a third briefcase, a World Heavyweight Championship title match. And in a fourth briefcase, a pink slip indicating immediate termination from Impact Wrestling. This is Feast or Fire. Gentlemen, at this time, please allow me to introduce the woman behind the concept, TNA President Dixie Carter. Yes. Yes. Well, let's keep your seat. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, uh, boys, welcome to Feast or Fired. I have become so accustomed to coming up with amazing and innovative concepts like this, just like the Wheel of Dixie. And tonight, the stakes could not be any higher. And for each of you sitting at this table right now, your life is about to change. So good luck. Thank you, Dixie. Gentlemen, only the law firm of Smith & Stone know the contents of these briefcases and have determined the order in which they will be revealed. The first person to open their briefcase is DJ Zima Ion. Any final words? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a chance I'm going home. Actually, there's a 100% chance I'm going home with gold around my waist. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Good luck. Heart's beating fast, guys. I got X! I got X, guys! I got X! I knew it! Woohoo! DJ Zima Ion, uh, the recipient of an X Division title match. I'm keeping this briefcase. Up next is Gunner. Gunner, if you happen to get a world tag team title shot, is it a guarantee that you will pick the cowboy James Storm as your tag team partner? What a clown question, J.D. Of course. Of course I'm going to pick James. We got our differences, of course. But you know what? He's still my partner. Best of luck to you. That's it! Right there! Finally! Finally something I deserve! Congratulations, Gunner. A World Heavyweight Championship title match is yours. And then, there were two. Gentlemen, one of your briefcases contains a world tag team title shot. The other, a pink slip, indicating immediate termination from Impact Wrestling. Chavo, any final words? Yeah. I'm very confident that in this briefcase is a tag team title shot. The one thing that'll never change is that whatever's in this briefcase it's not going to change that I'm still a Guerrero. You see three? Just like I will never lose, I will never be fired. 
because I'm a carter and... I'm so sorry to interrupt like this. What are you doing, Sting? We do not need you in here. Oh, no, Dixie, that's not true. I am needed in here because, no. no, I asked EC3 to do something great, and as a result, now his legacy's on the line. It's serious stuff, Dixie. I know. Ugh. The word legacy in the same sentence with EC3 makes me nauseous. What makes me nauseous is what you're doing to this place. Chavo, did anyone ever hand you anything in this business? No way. No way. In fact, Grails, we've had to work twice as hard. They have. Never. They have had to work twice as hard. And you want to talk about the word legacy? Legacy is wrapped all around the Guerrero name. And the thought that this man right here would be compared to that. To think that this man right here would have a 50-50 chance of losing his job right now sucks. But guess what? On the other side of the fence, there's a 50-50 chance you might be fired. And I can see that you're squirming on the inside right now. So instead of squirm, I'll offer you a way out. An exit, if you will. What if I were to take the fate of whatever's in this case and put it on me? There's only one prerequisite. That you fight me just one time only. This is the icon Sting challenging me to do something great again. Yeah. Well, I'll take the briefcase, Sting. Thanks. That's what I thought. Gentlemen, at this time, we will reveal the contents of both briefcases simultaneously. We do wish you both the best of luck. Please reveal the contents of the briefcases. Oh, that's a great idea. Come on. Oh, God, I can't wait. I'm so happy, man. You deserve that, darling. Hey, catch the Impact Wrestling World Tour on December 27th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, baby, and then December 28th in my hood on Long Island in Westbury, New York. Yeah, and while you're at it, don't miss the one-night-only series pay-per-view events. Hardcore Justice, Lowell, Massachusetts, December the 29th. Hashtag old school. Poughkeepsie, New York, December the 30th. Also, tickets go on sale tomorrow for the 2014 Impact Wrestling World Tour events in Illinois, Texas, and West Virginia. Be sure to check out impactwrestling.com for tickets and details. My thoughts are the same as they were before that confrontation with Jeff Hardy. Is that there's a lot of questions. And uh, Jeff doesn't seem to want to answer any of them, but that's okay. That's up to him, and my focus is on the title, about winning the title. I'm going to become the world heavyweight champion, and when I do, all questions will be answered. The fully knocked out tag match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the team of Lady Tapa and your knockouts champion, Gil Kim. I gotta tell you, Mike, I, I still am shocked. Chavo Guerrero, he, he, he got the short end of the stick. He's fired. I mean, what a sad turn of events. Chavo with a tremendous career here at TNA. Really sad this happened to Chavo this way. Think about it. 
We'll never see Chavo Guerrero again on Impact Wrestling. and offering to take EC3's pace. Man, that was risky. Talk about Russell Roulette. I mean, Sting, I know he's an egomaniac. What are you risky. talking about? Sting will do anything to fight EC3. EC3 will do anything to avoid Sting. That's hogwash. Speaking of hogwash, there's ODB. And her tag team partner from Seattle, Washington, Madison Rain. She's back, baby. Well, finally something positive. Uh -huh. I knew I'd finally get you to that point. Holiday season, oh, yeah. you should be festive. Oh. Madison Rain returned one week ago. She's got the wave working. She's got the wave. I'm always festive for festive this time. You know that. She's yeah, a very festive. festive man. It's great to see Madison Rain. She looks as lovely and blushing as, as humanly possible. And then again, there's ODB. Let's talk about Madison Rain, four-time knockout champion. Remember knockout tag team champion with Gail Kim, BFFs with Gail Kim. Different situation as of late. I don't think Gail Kim has been well uh -oh. too too receptive in, in terms of reaching out to Madison Rain while she was away from Impact Wrestling. Oh no, I, I agree with that. I mean, Gail Kim is all about that knockout championship and having this this Amazon-like woman here, Lady Tapa, watching her back. So let's see if Madison Rain can. Well, I was good, quick thinking right there. Dang it, only be she's ready to go. Either that or she's going to the restroom. <laughs> Taz, have you had a chance to, to check out Glory Kickboxing here on Spike? Love it. Check it out. I watch it every week. Man, this is big, Mike. This Saturday night, live from Tokyo. It's going to be off the chart. Can't wait. It's going to be a classic matchup. Youth and experience as the newly crowned heavyweight king, Rico Verhoeven, going to take on the legend of the ring, Peter Arts. And later tonight on Spike, we're going to set the stage with countdown to glory 13. Tokyo as ODB gets the offense rolling in the corner. But, oh, Lady Tapa not going anywhere. We're going to have some of my boys over the house Saturday night to watch glory, hang out in the garage, drink some beers. Invite? No. I didn't think so. No, Lady Tapa now show us strength here. Oh! You hang out in the garage and drink beers like ODB. She you never invited me. ODB said you gotta hang out in the garage or the cellar, not the basement, the cellar, and you, you drink you beer. You think at this time of year, this would be when you would finally what? extend the olive branch to me. I got you. I mean, I'll extend yeah, that. Well, I won't hold my breath. You want me to extend something to you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. Right, oh, look at that. Gail Kim just... She's just, she's, she's like a Porsche. She's like a crystal clean, sleek stealth Porsche. ODB, she's like a 72 <laughs> Ford Fail. That's all I'm saying. That's it. I guess that explains it, right? <laughs> Only you can relate to the Ford Fail. Thanks for coming. <laughs> exactly. I know you're a big interactive guy, Taz. Oh, yeah. I love interaction. Well, I interact with people every day. Impact Wrestling fans, you have the chance to get interactive with Impact Wrestling during the show. Whatever you've got, smartphone, iPad, tablet, computer, get real-time photos, videos, tweets. And I know this is right up your alley, Taz, especially with the knockouts here in action. Participate live tonight in a Q&A with Velvet Sky. Oh, well, Velvet Sky Q&A. Oh, wow. what Chris Saban thinks of that. He might not be happy about that. A drop kick by Gail Kim. Check out Impact Interactive now at impactwrestling.com. Gail Kim in complete control with her, her big friend there, Lady Tapa, completely dominating ODB. That's not a flattering shot. And now ODB, wow. look at strength right here. Look at the power. Lady Tapa, all the years that ODB has been in TNA and on these Impact Wrestling broadcasts, just a rarity to see her physically yeah. handled like no, that. Nobody woman handles ODB like that. Nobody. Man handled, woman handled. Well, I'm, what are you saying? What are you, you calling a man? He says, these are women in the ring. words in my mouth. I'm not putting words in your mouth. You do good enough job yourself. Hey, come on, guys. That's why everybody's pissed off you backstage, Mike. You got they a are? bad attitude. Yeah, that's right. Who, who is so, that? I don't want to get into that right now. I want to call a match. So, see, Lady yeah, Toppa. a first. Yeah, <laughs> Lady Toppa. Mike, she's like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, she's taller than me. I mean, she's really, really tall. <laughs> <laughs> just barely. Oh, oh, goodness, what a boot. No, no, no. With 
authority. In the face of ODB just dropped her in her tracks. Right, Going to turn it over to the knockouts champion. Feel him on top for the pin. You no, know, I'm going to buy ODB a Christmas gift. Okay, I'll bite. I'm going to get a sweatpants so she can wrestle in britches instead of wearing the, these bloomers that she's wearing. Cost is no object, right? Well, I, got, I got a lot of problems. Money's not one of them, Mike. You know that. Still to come tonight, it's Jeff Hardy versus Magnus. World Heavyweight Championship Tournament Finals. We're going to crown a new world title holder tonight in that huge Impact Wrestling main event, Taz. Oh, look at this. Oh, yep. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. That's big. But that was big right there. Gail Kim got splatted. ODB has this opportunity to get Madison Raymond. Jeff Hardy in 10-10-10 that Magnus brought up earlier. I mean, yeah, I, Jeff I Hardy's you. got that history. Yeah, and Jeff Hardy has definitely been, as we pointed out, a little bit sensitive to uh, the accusations tonight. So... Uh, Remember, he, he took a bribe before. He took the championship before. I can't believe you're accusing Jeff Hardy of this. I, it's about, not an accusation. It's a fact. Okay, okay. Well, the fact is that Madison Rain was cooking on all cylinders, and she still is. Spears, the knockouts champion, Gail Kim, former best friend. And uh-oh, here's the Amazon in again. Oh, Madison Rain's going to get a nasty welcome back. But uh-uh, ODB. That's one way to do it. Teamwork from ODB and Madison Rain. Oh, man. That was smooth. ODB dumped out to the floor, caught the apron on the way down. Pure raw power and strength of Lady Tapa. Now it's going to boil down to the knockouts champion, Gail Kim, against Madison Rain. Look at Gail Kim. She's in great shape. She's in complete oh. control. That short, quick clothesline right there. Madison Rain getting read the riot act by our lovely Gail Kim. Here comes we'll eat the feet, my friend. There it is, gonna sit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, before eat the feet, quick backslide, quick pin, and a quick win for Madison Rain. She just beat the knockout champion. Your winner is ODB and Madison Rain. Oh man, that's gigantic right there. Holy smokes, what a way to return. First match in ages of Impact Wrestling, and Madison Rain just defeated, just pinned Gail Kim. Never expected that. Hey, a quick programming note. It's Glory live from Tokyo this Saturday, but later tonight on Spike, it's the countdown to Glory 13. Hey, Jeff. Hey, man. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, this isn't going to be some kind of lecture, right? I'm not here to lecture you. You know me better than that. Look, I just want to talk to you. I mean, I've been around as long as you have. I've been around longer. I know what it's like to be second-guessed, okay? I don't need an explanation. I'm not asking for one. You don't owe Joe. You don't owe Magnus an explanation. But what you do owe is to those that you are closest to you, those that you care about the most. I'm talking about creatures all over the world. I'm talking about your family, all right? You just have to stay true to yourself. I know, I know this thing. You just, you don't fully understand. Nope, <laughs> Jeff, that's the thing. I do. Really, I do. Will we get answers later tonight from the charismatic enigma? Up next, we'll crown a new world heavyweight champion, Jeff Hardy versus...